Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your monitor with AMD. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So before I get too far in today's video, as mentioned at the start, this is going to be specifically for AMD. I do have a previous video where I show you how to overclock your monitor with an NVIDIA card. I'll be leaving a card on screen and links to that in the description down below. So to get started, the first thing you're going to be doing is right clicking anywhere on your desktop. We're going to be opening up the AMD Radeon software and we're going to be brought to the AMD Radeon settings. Now, in this case, once this opens up, what we're going to be doing is looking for the cogwheel on the top right for our settings. We're going to be clicking this open and then we're going to be brought to the system tab right here. From this point, we're going to be coming to the display tab, which you will see just next to graphics and video. We're going to be clicking this open and here we'll get all different information for our settings. So in this case, I'm going to be focusing on my display one. So if you have multiple displays, simply click and select which one you want. If you hover over any display, you'll see a red border on the outside so you can help identify it. So once you've selected your correct display, we're going to be coming over to the custom color tab. And specifically, we're going to be looking for custom resolutions. If we drop this open, you can see I currently have two. I have the display size of the monitor and then the refresh rate right here which is 60 and 75. So what we're going to be doing is creating a new custom resolution by clicking create new right here and the only thing we need to look at and pay attention to is the refresh rate right here and here's where we're going to be experimenting and creating a couple different profiles with our monitor to see how far we can push it. So what I'd recommend doing is going up in five refresh rate or hertz increments every time to see how much your monitor can handle. So in this case say you have a 60 hertz display I'd recommend starting out with 65 testing this out and seeing how it works with your monitor and then taking it step by step there to see how high you can go. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is creating a refresh rate of 65. Once you're happy with everything, simply click create. Your screen may go black and refresh, don't worry. And you've created a new display profile for 65 hertz. Now, in this case, this actually hasn't been added to our screen just yet. We need to change one more setting for this to come into effect. We're going to need to come back to our desktop. We're going to need to right click and we're going to be looking for display settings in our windows. In this case, if you have multiple displays, again, you need to make sure your correct display is selected. Or if you only have one, you won't actually have this option, so you don't need to worry about it. Once you have your display selected, we're going to be scrolling all the way down to the bottom and we're going to be clicking on advanced display settings. If we click this open, we'll get some more information about our display. Again, we're going to be going one step further and we're going to be looking for display adapter properties for our first display. If we click this open, we'll get this small pop-up. And what we're going to be doing is coming to the monitor tab once we're here. And just underneath this, we'll have screen refresh rate. And here we can see all of our custom profiles that we just set up, 60, 65, and 70. In this case, the new one I just created is 65. So I'm going to be selecting this. And then once we hit apply, our screen will go black for a couple of seconds. We'll then have to wait a couple of seconds to see if our monitor is able to handle this and if it doesn't it will simply revert within 15 seconds so once you click apply your screen will go black you'll see i have this pop-up here saying reverting to previous display in a couple of seconds so if your monitor doesn't actually work within these few seconds it will revert automatically however if it does and it seems to be correct you can simply click keep changes and here's where you actually want to test your display you want to move some windows around on it you want to move your mouse make sure everything works the way it should open up some windows and make sure there's no weird artifacting or colors if it works great that means your display is able to handle the higher refresh rates if it doesn't you need to take it down a little bit lower maybe one two three refresh rate depending on your screen Screen, and you need to keep experimenting until you get as high as you can without actually getting any issues on your screen. So this will require a little bit of experimentation. It really depends on your monitor and what it can be pushed to. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to overclock your monitor using AMD. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.